Hi everyone, welcome back to Simple Innovation. In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step tutorial how to create your own JavaScript-based MQTT broker and its client. So I'll use Mosca to create my own JavaScript-based MQTT broker and also to create a publisher and also a subscriber, I'll use MQTTJS. Make sure you have installed Node.js on your computer and I'll use Visual Studio Code as my code editor. You can use any code editor that you want. Let's get started. I've opened a blank folder here and let's initiate a Node.js application. So open the terminal, then type npm in it and there will be uh, several equations. Okay, package name, version, description, JSMQTT, entry point, test command, git repository, keywords, QTT, JavaScript, author, I'll type my name, is this okay? Yes. Nice, and there will be a package.json file that save our setting for our application here. Okay, and to create MQT broker, I'll install the first one is Mosca, and to create MQTT client, I'll use MQTTJS. Just install it through npm, npm i Mosca MQTT, and let's wait. After the installation process is done, there is a node modules folder here, contains all of the packages that I need on my project here. So let's create an MQTT broker first. I'll call it broker.js. Okay, so MQTT broker. I'll use Mosca to create my MQTT broker. So just import it for Mosca require Mosca and then settings just for uh, the port that I used the default is 1883 but I'll try to use 1234 okay then let's create the broker for broker equals an object from Mosca dot server and I'll use my setting ports like this after that just create an event message broker dot on ready then a function just type console.log broker is ready broker is ready just like that okay save it and let's try to run it node broker okay nice next let's try to create a subscriber and also a publisher okay so I'll create a sub.js to create my MQTT subscriber and I also create a pub.js as my MQTT uh, publisher so the publisher will uh, send or post the data the message to my broker JS using a specific topic then my subscriber will get that message Okay, so let's create uh, the subscriber first. I'll use MQTT package, so just type MQTT. Let's import uh, the package MQTT. Then I'll create the client or the subscriber in this file. Client equals to uh, MQTT dot connect. It will be connected to my broker. The URL is mqtt slash slash localhost and also its uh, port 1234. 
it must be a string like this and let's create a topic it must be a specific string okay i'll create a topic named lintang test one two three just for example okay after that let's create an event client dot on uh, it will be get the data that published by a publisher so the event must be published client on oh sorry message message then i'll insert a function here an arrow function with a parameter topic and also message so i can get the message 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 dot to string i have to convert the message to a string and console.log the message so it will be printed on my terminal okay oh and then i have to create the connection event client dot on connect insert a function again client dot subscribe it will be subscribed to my broker to a topic a specific topic that is topic client dot subscribe topic okay save it and let's create a publisher first I'll also create a publisher using MQTT package, MQTTJS. So let's require again the publisher, MQTT, require MQTT. Also, I'll create a client. In this case, the client is an MQTT publisher. MQTT dot connect again connect to the same broker as my publisher so it must be mqtt localhost 1234 like this after that i also have to define the topic a specific string the topic is lintang test 123 after that Let's create a message here, the message that will be sent to my broker and then grabbed by the subscriber. Hello world, for example. And let's create a function that will be publish the message every five seconds, for example. Eh? So I'll create an event client that on uh, connect after my publisher is connect to my broker it will send the data send the message every five seconds so i'll use set interval function then a row function client dot publish topic and also the message for that just console dot log message send and it will print the message like this with interval five thousand milliseconds or five seconds okay done okay this is my broker this is my subscriber and this is my publisher okay done all right nice let's try to run our broker and then run the subscriber and publish the message from pub.js okay let's try oops 
I will split the terminal. Okay, this is uh, for the broker and the subscriber, and the last one is for my publisher. Let's run the broker node broker.js. Okay, broker is ready. Run the subscriber node sub. Okay, it runs and run the publisher. It will send the message every five seconds. Let's wait. Nice, this is the message. And look at the subscriber terminal here. Hello world, this is the message from my publisher. Okay, it works. But my broker is just print is ready. My MQTT broker uh, also can get the data from my publisher directly. But I have to create another event. Okay. Oops, sorry. Let's create a, an event on my broker. Broker. Okay. Dot on published so if there is a message that published from my publisher.js it will be print also it will be read by my broker.js okay a row function and i can use packet data to print the message console.log packet dot payload dot to string nah like this okay let's save it and run again my broker run again my subscriber run again my publisher okay let's wait every five seconds it will be sent the data okay this is the message hello world from my publisher on my subscriber and also on my broker nice it works so that's it, the basic JavaScript based MQTT broker and its client using Mosca and MQTTJS. For full tutorial and source code, you can check on my GitHub repo, link is on description. On the next video, I'll create a connection between my broker JS to database, MySQL, and also MongoDB. So stay tuned, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and see you, bye bye.